Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we ended with uh, finding the, um, the lost forest, or the entrance to it. It was via the, the chasm here. So now we're inside, but no, no Korokos wanna talk to us, as you see. So I think we need to go in here and talk to, to something or someone. I also see it's some... Oh, it's gloom inside here. You don't gonna talk either. So I guess we have to figure out what's... How to remove the gloom from... This bit. Oh, you can jump in here. I guess we need to jump down again then. Deku 3 Chasm. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. Okay, it's those hands, huh? Never fought this uh, on a place where I have um, no platform to stand on. It's a bit hectic. And I don't even think I have food for this. Nope. So how the fuck? Sorry, my swearing, but how do you fight this? Can I do anything? Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Be ready for that enemy directly, and I also think maybe these dazzle fruits are good on it. Let's just wait for it to appear here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, now it's mad though. Yeah. But maybe just keep shooting like this. It's actually pretty good. And is one enough to kill them all? No. It's good to know at least. Uh, this made the fight a lot easier. <laughs> to be honest. the hell? How oh, do you need to kill all of them at the same time so they don't uh, come back? Okay, that's the fruit please. Quick. And also maybe muddle buds here can be good. Ah. I will actually go on the gloom here. Oh, not gloom. Oh my god. Wrong fruit. I want the dazzle one. Oh my god, the hands are annoying. And it grabs me. I need to dazzle fruit them. What? Quick dazzle fruit now, please. Maybe bomb fruit could be nice here, actually. And then one more. Could be good to hit the enemies also. There we go. Ah, nice. That was just phase one, huh? So what do we work with here? Phantom Ganon, huh? God damn. Oopa. I'm dead.
Okay, first of all, I'm super stupid, as always. <laughs> My brain doesn't work. Maybe not use the... Your worst gear here. Maybe it's not the worst, but it's not so good for fighting though, it's, it's sneak. And uh, so we have this for gloom resistance, and then we can actually use maybe some damage up on the legs. And why not some... I have so bad hats actually. I only have like utility hats. That sucks. Why not this for good luck? Okay, so this time I'm having a better approach, I think. I'm gonna start with... Um, most used. With some Dazzle Fruits. And then I'm just gonna bomb them as quickly as I can here. Because I don't wanna take damage at all in this first phase. Because we, we don't have any... Any food for, for the... For the Gloom. I thought that was it. How many are left? Two are left. Let's do this quickly as. Here we go. Then you're left. One more. Was that it? Now you're still left. That's it. Nice. So now we're at the same phase as we died last time, but with... <laughs> Full HP. And I'm gonna just cheese this dude a bit. I don't really care. Wow. That was not a headshot, huh? That's not a headshot. I'm gonna eat, because I don't want to get one-shotted to death. Why not get some attack up also? Then change a good weapon. Headshot? No. Damn. You can only run there. Not again. Yeah, that was my fault, 100%. At least he doesn't apply uh, Gloom when he hits you, which is actually quite nice. Now he's gonna run. Then we wanna run away. That's not good. Uh-oh. Yeah, I felt that. I was way too slow. I have no real, like, uh, plan on, on this enemy. Oof, I was close. I can wait with eating for a bit. I think he doesn't one-shot me here. So now I should go up. But then he has another attack on me, that's super bad. Why not? Then just run away. And then go in. Two hits. Run away. Run away. Nice. We got it. Was that enough? Nice. Now the new problem is <laughs> getting out of this tree trunk. <laughs> you did it! Thank you so much, Mr. Hero. The great Deco tree is waiting for you in the Kuroko forest. 
Ah, we get teleported up. No, oh, we don't. We don't. So is it like possible to... Oh, we need this. Of course we need this. Uh, its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. This slender sword has an ominous presence. It is said to end the life of anyone it touches. Okay. Interesting. I just photo them then also so we get that out of the way. Demon King bow, huh? That's cool. And the gloom sword. I want the whole sword in, in frame. There we go. What should we drop for those? Uh, I guess we can drop this. And for the bow. Maybe not drop, drop that. Maybe we can drop the tw 12 instead. <laughs> The higher your maximum number of hearts, the more its attack power increases. Ooh, that's nice. Its performance reflects the power of its wielder. That's a bow I'm not gonna use until the late game. Which I guess we are in now, but we're not really at the late late game yet. I thought this would be an exit out. Why is this platform here if it's no entrance or exit? <laughs> oh well, let's just... Uh, quick travel. Easiest like that. Now oh, the Kokoroko dude has moved here, which is nice. I wanna see it. What do you wanna see? Ah, Mr. Hero. Thank for making Kuroko Forest normal again. Do you have a minute, Mr. Hero? I got something I'd like to ask you. Sure. Really? Thank you, Mr. Hero. You see, I have a friend who says they, they saw a big worthy circle. They saw it in an area, area with water. Even if it's really real, I want to see it myself. Even a picture would do. But it's still too dangerous to leave here, so please make it safe out there soon, Mr. Hero. Worldly swirly things. Yawn. Yawn. My head is still fussing. Oh, you're... Hang on, what are you doing here? Ah, oh no. Yeah, now I remember. It all happened so suddenly. The great Deku tree was in agony and an ominous fog came out of its mouth. And then... A bunch of us Kuroko started acting funny. Next thing I knew, monsters showed up and I fought them all by myself, knocking them out one by one by one. Mm, sorry, I lied. I actually couldn't move and don't even remember what happened. It was all so sudden. I don't know if any of the other remembers either. But thanks to you, Mr. Hero, everybody is back to normal. Yay. I'm sure the Great Deku Tree wants to say thank you. You should go. The Great Deku Tree? As everyone knows, the Great Deku Tree is the spirit of the Kuroko Forest. If you climb up the route behind me, you can talk to him. You're the one who saved the Great Deku Tree's life, so please go and say hello. Oh yeah, also, some of the Kurokos could use your help. You should probably talk to the Great Deku Tree first, but then maybe you can help out. Follow the lights in the forest. If you do, you'll come across different Kurokos who could use some help. Please go find them and see what they need. I, of course I will do that. But let's first talk to the great Deku tree here. Since the Lost Wood returned to normal, I was able to make it back. Kuroko forest is so peaceful, huh? By the way, have you seen a Kuroko named Waki? Oh, you don't even know who Waki is, huh? Hmm, I wonder where he went. Maybe he's hiding in the great Deku tree's mouth. If you want to know where his mouth is, it's right above the spore store. 
the spore store. So spore store is, I guess, here, because spores are mushrooms. And then above, I guess you're gonna ascend. But did we have four now, or do we have only three? Let's check it out. Three. We need one more. That sucks. But you can also bless Sage Will. Did you say that? Sorry, I just need to read this again. You have a con blah blah blah. I can offer you great power, but you don't have four light of blessing or four sage wheels. Okay, so we need sage wheels also. And sage wheels, how how can I have not found more than I think I have three of them? Yeah. In all these hours of playing. Welcome to the spore store. My shrooms are delicious, suspicious, but never malicious. Look around, buy something, or do you want to sell something? No. I want to talk to the big mouth, and I guess it's, it's above here. Here's the silent princesses also. Already snapped a pic. Are you Usha? Waki? No touchy! Each element has been placed just so. Sorry, dude. Ah, I've been spotted. I wonder how you got in here. Well, guess what? We're in the Great Deku's Three's mouth. Guess what else? I'm putting together a secret room in here. Right now, I'm fixing up the decor, but I need more pretty things. I need four blue nightshades that glow gently at night and two really vivid bright bloom seeds. Well, bright bloom seeds I have in unlimited quantity. You want the bigger ones, of course. I think I should have everything that you need. I got them. Yay, let's wait here. Okay, so now we wait for the night time. And then I guess he will place those. <laughs> Wee, thank you, thank you. Hang on, I'll set up the decorations real quick. See? Look, now my secret room is all done. Looks great. <laughs> Looks so pretty. Thank you, thank you. Take this. Rock of fabric, huh? I was thinking I'd lay this on the floor like a rug, but you can have it. Now I can enjoy my secret room, and it's all thanks to you, Mr. Hero. The secret room is complete. It's a secret to everyone that I built a secret room here. Hmm, I wonder how I can get out of here when I want to go play. Yeah? That I wonder too. Maybe if we... <laughs> this is not gonna work. But if I was a tree and it started burning in my mouth, I would probably open the mouth. Uh, but let's ascend. Uh, I think that's what they want me to do. I guess now we're at the top of the tree. Here they should have probably put some secret thing. Nobody wants to play. Hmm, did I do it? Did I hide things well enough? Oh, Mr. Hero, is that you? You see, I wanted to play with everyone, but making them hunt for treasure. Uh, so I hid stuff around the great deco tree. But I want to make sure I, I hid things well enough, so I need someone to test it out. I don't want to ruin it for the Kuroko, see? I'll test it. Yay, since it's for the other Kurokos, you're the only one who can help me with this, so thanks. The first two hidden treasures are a forest dweller sword and a forest dweller spear. I hid them up higher than the great deco tree's face. If you find them, bring them to me. So higher up than the face, huh? I guess this is the top of the tree, so... Further down than this, at least. Where is this dude's face? That's the face. Can I talk to you?
can almost see the secret room here. <laughs> In the mouth. Okay, let's talk to this dude. I guess you're gonna stand on this platform here. Hmm. Ah, so it's you. I must apologize. I'm still quite groggy. As though I'm awakening from a bad dream. You rid me of that unpleasantness deep within me. Yes, you went to great trouble to restore me. Thank you. It's been some time since last we spoke. Have you been well? Hmm, yes. The last time we spoke? That was when you came here f with the princess to receive the master sword. Is it a memory now? Nice. It is good to see you, Princess Zelda of Hyrule, and Link, Keeper of the Master Sword. Your blade has been fully restored. Go on then, Link. Draw it once more. But I don't think it's gonna be as easy this time. Great Deku Tree! Thank you so much! Ha ha ha! There is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. It is amazing that a sword can heal itself, no matter how badly damaged it becomes. It can do more than heal. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. The potential of this fabled blade may well be limitless. Truly the work of a goddess. The sword that grows ever stronger. The Master Sword. Damn. That's goosebumps. Hmm. But the sword. It would seem that you no longer wield it. Where has it gone? What is this then? You do not know where the Master Sword is? I see. Yet, I can sense it, even now. There can be no mistake. It's here. <laughs> That's a random place to have it. Oh, it's traveling, huh? In the sky, I feel the Master Sword's presence strongly in this area. But what could this mean? The Master Sword seems to be moving. You may need to be resourceful to reach the sword, but you must find a way. Surely, surely the most sword is awaiting you, just as you are seeking it. The hell? So it moves around? <laughs> so now it's at the right back leg on the lizard here. So wait five seconds. So now it should... Yeah, it has traveled some bit, huh? That's weird. Okay, so the quests we have now, rec recovering the sword. That's a main quest, huh? Well, I guess we have to do that. But first, let's see if we can get some more weapon slots. It's you, we meet again, it's been a while, huh? I finally made it home to Kuroko Forest. The Kurokos told me that that icky stuff floating in the air was making things weird around here. I'm so happy it's gone and that everyone is better now. Chakalaka. I don't have Kuroko seeds, I only had two I saw there. So let's go and find this shrine, otherwise I'm gonna be mad. And also I saw you hiding here. I guess not. Let's just keep going here. 
There's a shrine stone. And it's actually this way we're going, huh? That's a bit scary. So I guess we're gonna take this stone with us into the forest and then... We will find a shrine somewhere there. Isn't this green color of the stone so pretty? I found it myself. I want it. Ah, you can't have it. No, no, I found it. Hmm. But if you do something for me, maybe I'll consider it. Sure. The thing is, I love golden apples and I'm pretty sure... And a pretty stone... And a pretty stone is pretty, but I can't really eat it. If you bring me five golden apples, I trade you this one stone. Ooh. Keep following this path and go really super far on it. You'll find a big bog called Mido Swamp, and on the north side of the bog are trees where golden apple grows. But there has have been more monsters recently, so going there to pick them is hard now. Oh, oh yeah, also the bog is bottomless, so don't fall in. As long as they're golden apples, I don't care where you got them. Okay, so five golden apples. I don't think I only have one now. A pretty stone and five golden apples. So let's keep running here. I guess we need to follow the light not to get lost. Also, what is this? Something we need a picture on. Ah. There is the shrine piece. Oh my god. What's happened if I glide up here? Will I fall away? No. This is not friendly trees. I want something to cut it with here. I gladly take all the apples. Can I get up to it before? Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Here's a forest dweller sword, which we need for one quest. Give me the arrows though. That's what I want. Did I take them? I guess I took them. So is this the bottomless thing they told me about? I guess so. <laughs> okay, so here, snipe that dude. I guess... Climb the trees. No, I don't want to do that. That was a misclick on the arrow. There we go. Oh my god. you, huh? You're not dying when you jump, fall down into the sludge. It's a bit unfair. Okay. 
how far up can I go on the trees here? Here is the golden place, I think. This we should just map here. Nice loot. That's it, huh? I was expecting a lot more golden apples, to be honest. But it's okay. Guess it's easiest to just do this. You, we have taken the quest from. Also, this one, this, uh, you're flying away. Dude, I have your apples for you. That you so badly wanted. Did you bring me the apples? Of course. Thank you, thank you. So give me the stone. We should have activated that earlier, then we couldn't have traveled here instead. Don't gust, freaking hell. I need to touch this on this, that's correct. I guess that this one should be Raru's blessing. Yeah. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Let's drop this <laughs> bad boomerang for that. I thought I heard something, but I didn't. Yay! Now we have one more heart container we want. Nice, nice. And also find the finding the shrine in this place. Not the easiest task. Okay, but with that done, we have one quest in Koroko done. You to go. So we have a shrine nearby here also, huh? That's weird. Let's try to find that shrine. Not this way. More like this way. Okay, so I guess it's this way here. Someone wants to talk to me. I wonder if... I don't, don't want to leave this forest if we have some quests standing by here, but those are just going away when I approach them. Let's go here then. Maybe we can find the sky view tower, but I don't think it's south.
Is this like an alternative way to... Oh, you get deeper in the forest here, actually. I think we had a pick on them already. Yeah, but that's a cooler pick. And how the hell should I found what way it is to go here? Can you take help with some height? Maybe we can just listen for the... For the shrine. Here you cannot go. Maybe I have to follow these, uh, these ones, the nightshades here. Somehow I'm still going a way I can go, but <laughs> I have no clue where I'm going. Now we have gone too far. Um, like, how can I tell that one part is okay and one part is a no-go zone? And now I'm back at the entrance. But now it means that we can actually... can actually go this way. So maybe it's the crows I need to follow. That's the wrong way, that's the wrong way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't... There's a crow. No! Freaking hell. We will figure this out. Go here. Here it is. No, no, trick. Ah, I'm not even sure I I have to do this. Actually, I don't think. Maybe if it's if we. Let me just try one thing here. I type. Maybe they work as a guidance if we throw them down. Nope. We have made it a bit now. Because we go here, then we go through this. Then we wanna go left. And then we get lost again. Oh well. Sorry for wasting everyone's time. I'm gonna probably cut that down to be a bit shorter for you guys. So that didn't make us any smarter. But they told us to follow these lights. So let's follow these lights this way. To see what we might find. A shrine as well. You can't go past here. Uh -huh. yeah. Hey, no going past here. Oh, you're a Highland. Sin well, since you're not a Kuroko, I guess I don't need to stop you. There's this thing beyond here that I can't stop thinking about. I keep wanting to go check it out again. You know the thing that showed up in the Koroko forest? I saw something similar to that, but it looked kind of different. But when I tried to go back to it, there was a bunch of monsters coming out of the woodwork. Three monsters, 
three monsters and bone monsters. So I'm keeping guard here to warn, warn the other Kurokos because it's a real danger. But I'm not about to stop any Highland who are feeling brave. Just be careful. Oh, and the flowers are there to help. Help keep you from getting lost. So don't go picking them. So the flowers are for not getting lost, huh? That was... Something I had, um... So I wasn't totally out... Uh, wrong. <laughs> with my thinking, with the blue shades here. It just didn't work as I thought it would. Okay. We don't need to use that weapon, maybe? Boom. I know I need this one for you. That's the spear I need also. So why not drop something for it? I have so much good weapons I don't want to drop. I'm gonna drop that. Also. Oh. Okay, so here's the shrine. Activate it so we can see where the stone is. there that's not far at all but that's a uh, that's a enemy I can tell already so we want something more blunt and also heavy Easy enough. <laughs> Didn't even wake up before it died. That's unfortunate for, for that. I'm actually not gonna take that heart thing. Oh my god. Is this also Aurora's blessing? Hey, I was able to come here again thanks to you. I actually secretly followed you. I was a little scared of the monsters, but I managed because of you. But it seems like it's shaped differently than I saw before. I wonder who moved such a big boulder. How strange. Well, that is me. It was Aurora's blessing, huh? Nice, though. Diamonds are always worth. And also now we need to change the clothes. Which I also keep forgetting. Why not have two attack ups?
So was that it, huh? Or did we... Could we keep going deeper in the woods? So we have lights there, there. But I think it actually ends over here. Now it keeps going a bit. So let's keep going then. No. It was just blue shades there without... Without it being a road, which is weird because they told me that it was follow the blue lights. But if we're done here, then I guess maybe it's easier to just quick travel back again. did you want to see? A big circle that spins in the water. If it's real, I want to see it even if it's a picture. So you want to see a picture of something spinning in the water. You're an inn. And you're selling general stuff. I'm gonna buy your arrows though. And also your rice. I still don't know how to find it. And I know I have one quest, which is cooking with rice. Rice and fish, I think. For someone in Laurel Village. And can I use this for sleep? No, nope. you're still here, huh? I'm going up here because I want to see if... Did you find it? The look on your face can mean just one thing. You found them, haven't you? Ah, you found both. So, how was it? Was it hard? It was hard. It was hard, huh? Thank you, Mr. Here, for that useful information. Oh yeah, you can keep what you found as a gift. Okie dokie, there's more than just one simple round to this treasure round. That's right, it's time for round two. Next, find me a forest dweller shield. It's still hidden on the great Deku tree, but this time it's below his face. It's not hidden on the ground or in his navel. I wonder if you will find it this time. Hmm. So not on the ground, not on the navel, but below his... Oh, and also... No, I want to get up here again. I, can, I think from here you can almost see where the sky view tower is. Or hopefully you can. <laughs> Let me just get on the top here. Yeah, that's a big tree though. But now we're going to the wrong way. It doesn't matter though. So is that shrine over there? Which shrine is that? For reals. Where it's gonna put me? Ah, it's gonna put me <laughs> on the same spot. Why not? So that's... That's a shrine I haven't found, huh? That's actually some great intel. And over there is... Something. So what happens if I just jump out here? Okay, you're not able to do that, huh? Makes sense. Also, what is this thing? Looks super weird. Well, maybe we don't need to have it beamed out. Okay, so that's a no-go. Let's 
just get out on this branch. Because I want to see where the Skyview Tower is. If we're able to do it also, of course. And maybe we're not. And now I died. Because... <laughs> I didn't think about my stamina. Alright, we're not gonna be able to see anything of value that we want to see here. So a shield below his face. So his face is... Not on this side. So I'm thinking if we wanna try to find a shield somewhere on this tree, it's easiest to just go around with the Ultra Hand. Because then we can see when we see an item that you can move with the Ultra Hand, then it might be the shield. But it was also not on the ground, so we're not gonna be too much on the ground there. I'm thinking maybe this little part here feels a bit sus. And me and stamina doesn't go hand in hand always. A note from Maka, just climb into the tree's mouth to leave the forest, I promise you it won't eat you. Okay, we don't want to leave the forest, but I want to try it. <laughs> that made us go where? Ah, to the entrance again. Yeah, but it's it's okay, we can leave this place for a bit, because I want to find the Skyview Tower. Because I'm not sure the Skyview Tower is inside the forest anymore. So what we want to do is, from here, I'm going to build a car. That's not a car. That's a car. And then we're gonna fly like on the outside of the forest here and try to find the sky view tower. So there is one sky view tower. But I wonder if that's for the wrong map. No, that's for the correct map. That's actually good. I wonder if that's where the flying loot is. This looks like an obstacle course for falling, actually. And we have a memory back here as well. Is it the next memory in our list to do? So up here is the sword, huh? Makes sense, monster sword. We did this. Okay, we have, we have quite a few left before we do this memory. No 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 don't you dare don't you dare I'm not even close And also let's munch on some some of this for now Here we can actually just let it be for now. Because I don't want my car to despawn. 
So let me just unlock that shrine. And then we're gonna... I think we're gonna go to... To the Skyview Tower first. Those can, ag those can aggro me if they want. I don't really care. I think they want me to clear this thing first here. Which I'm gonna do a bit cheesy though. But sometimes you're worth the cheese. <laughs> Very nice. I wonder if that means that I can ignore those enemies. At least I hope so. And here's perfect. We have some cooking station here for us later. Hello, my brother in research. I was waiting for you. You were? That's right. Uh, I'm the one who discovered these big ruins. These big ruins way out here. But I wasn't able to make much progress investigating them. I'm, on I'm only one Hylian, and this, alas, is not a one Hylian job. That's why I wrote on the Sonai survey team, asking them to dispatch a researcher to assist me. Mm. And here you are, practically right after I sent my letter. Great response time. I haven't seen no letter. What? You're not a Sonai survey team researcher, you're just some guy? I see. Aww. So few people come through here. I assumed you had to be my assistant. Uh, I asked for. My mistake. After all the trouble I've got gone to, can't they... Send one assistant help with my monthly research. Monolith research, not monthly. Oops, did you hear that? Sorry, scrub that from your brain. It's not meant to be public knowledge. Mm. If you were from the Sonai server team, I could tell you all about what I've discovered so far. But you're not, so let me help. Please let me help. Mm. Mm, I appreciate the offer, but that's not really not allowed. Then again, though he may not be a researcher, he does have the look of an adventurer about him. Maybe his expertise will get things back on track. Oh. You know what? You're hired for this project alone. I'm appointing you as my research assistant. Come on, let's find out what secret these ruins are hiding. Ah. Yes, yes. Well then, we can dive right in. I'll start by showing you what my research has uncovered so far. Wait there. Oof. Take a look. I think you'll be pretty surprised by the discovery. Okay, let's read this. Display the power of the Sage of Wind to... to the Owl, protected by many dragons. Okay. So we need the four Sages here. So we're gonna use Sage of Wind on an Owl, protected by dragons. Okay, okay. Mm. Eh, eh, aren't you surprised? Yeah, wow. Ah. Right, right. Oh. The Sonai were an ancient civilization with their own system of writing. Almost no one living today can read Sonai script. But you can read the inscription on the monolith, right? That's because it's written in Hyrulean. Though these ruins appear to be Sonai in origin, they feature text written in modern Hyrulean. How could that be? Who built this ruin and for what pur purpose? I guess Zelda built ah. them for us. This is just a possibility, but the monolith that were found might be pointing to a spot somewhere in the ruins. You and me, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I need you to find that spot. There, we may find yet another monolith that tells us the, why these ruins were built. Uh -huh. It's just a hunch, but I also, but it's also your boss hunch. So, okay. So, do I need to read all of this? Display the power of Sage of Fire to blaze through the space between two dragons from head to tail. Display the power of the Sage of Fire to blaze through the space between two dragons from head to tail. Mm. Two dragons. That description reminds me of something I saw when I first arrived at these ruins. The corridor between two dragons. So we get four side adventures here, huh? That's crazy, actually. Display the power of Sage of Water in the presence of the sixth dragon. Mm. There was a small ring of dragon head statues somewhere. It wasn't there. Omnius place. But where was that again? You tell me. It's 
Display the power of the Sage of Lightning at the end of the long dragon that protects the mountain of death. Mm. Hmm, there's a lot of dragon statues, but we're looking for one with a long body, sounds like. What with that mountain of death part? That's troubling. Okay. So with that out of the way, let's go and talk to this bird. How in Hyrule? I made, I fixed it. I came to repair this Skyview Tower, but the terminal hasn't been working. Until now, it started working again, even without me doing anything. Huh? There was something blocking the top of the Skyview Tower? Hmm. The terminal and the lid on top of the tower are connected. So if the lid wouldn't work because it was blocked, I guess the terminal wouldn't work either. Well, I'm in a hurry and everything seems to be working properly, so I'll head out. Thank you for fixing the Skyview Tower. I'm off. Bye bye. Let's unlock the map. So I'm thinking those uh, side adventures can be easier to do with the map unlocked here. Because then we might be able to see those dragon things on the map. Hopefully at least. From here it could be nice to scout out where the the last Skyview Tower is, because we have this part of the map still not unlocked. Ooh, and also while we're up here. That one we also need to check out. But behind this um these clouds you have this little thing. I just popped and mashed there. There we go. Let's snap a pick on it. I think we have to jump down and fall down. Oh. Don't mind if I do. And also while we fall, let's do that quickly. Yeah, that's really next to... I guess we do that. Oh my god. Oh, it's a chasm right beneath us. So I guess this thing is gonna fall down in the chasm. Yep. And we're gonna glide to this thing over here. Nice just to get it. While we're close to it. There we go. But taking a look at the time, you know what, what it is I'm gonna say now. We have run out of it, unfortunately. If you have enjoyed watching this episode, please consider liking the video. It always helps me out a lot. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on the future episodes. This has been 23. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.